Hi, I'm Eston from Expedition Essentials, and today I'm here to show you how to install our second gen Tacoma powered accessory mount. It's a technical install, but it's fairly easy to do using just basic hand tools that you can find in almost every garage. The product will come with your installation hardware and the harness for wiring. The first thing you want to do is loosely install the side brackets into both sides of the T-PAM. Just hand tight is all you need. After that, you can loosely test fit it onto the dash to where it lines up equally on both sides. Once you've taped your side brackets in place, you'll take a fine point marker and mark the side holes with it. For the next step, there are some mounting holes in the rear. Your marker won't reach those holes in the back, so you're going to need a scribe to scratch into the plastic onto the dash. Kind of just feel with your fingers to find where these holes are. There are four holes, two on each side. Once you find them, you can go back and scratch into the plastic. After you've scratched the holes in the rear into the plastic, you're just going to remove the T-PAM and remove the plastics to drill your holes. The next thing you want to do is remove this lower control panel right into your radio. You will need to disconnect any electrical connections in the panel. From there you're going to want to remove your radio. There are four bolts holding the radio in. You'll just need a 10 millimeter socket for that. You'll also want to disconnect any electrical connections in the rear of the radio. Once you remove your radio, the next thing you'll do is you'll remove this little coin tray here. It's held in by plastic clips. And then once that is done, you'll have two plastic screws above the gauge cluster. You'll just want to pry those out, and when that is done, you'll want to loosen the black plastic around the gauge cluster on one side. Once that is loosened, you can pull this straight out. It comes out both sides. And remove any electrical connectors that'll be on your four-wheel drive rotary switch. Once you have the dash plastic for the T-PAM out, you're going to take a 7 32nds drill bit and drill the holes on the side out very carefully, not to break out to the other side with the vent. The next thing you want to do on the plastic is take a Dremel and on the flip side, you want to shave down this little lip here so that it fits back into the dash with the brackets installed. Another thing you're also going to want to do with your Dremel is shave down this inside lip on the dash plastic you pulled out around the gauge cluster. Expanding from here to here on the dash. Now on your radio, you want to take your 7 32nds drill bit that you used earlier and drill the holes that you scribed. Once your holes are drilled into the top of the radio, you're ready to start installing your T-PAM. You'll grab the 8 32nds screws 
to start hand tightening them onto the top of the radio. Once you've got those all in hand tight, you're going to take an offset screwdriver and an 11 32nd wrench and tighten each one of them up. So here we have the harness for the T-PAM. For this, we wired it to the cigarette lighter. You'll want to unplug that and from there you'll have a green positive and a black and white negative. You'll splice into that and route the harness from the back of the plastic and up. So here you're going to notch out for the wiring harness to fit up to the USB port. So once you've got the TPAM installed on the radio, you've got the harness installed and you've made that notch and you're all done with that radio, you'll install the side brackets into this vent plastic that you have. So here I have the passenger side. It'll look like that when it's mounted. And you'll be taking the same 8 32nd screw with a bolt and a washer on the back. All right, so on to the next step. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall our vent plastic. Um, here you can see, you wanna pay attention to where we dremeled this out, right here to make clearance for this edge. And we did the same thing right here on this inboard edge. And that just allows you to slip it in there um, underneath this bracket here, because it's a little, it's really tight for the side bracket clearance. Make sure you hook up your electrical connector for your four-wheel drive control as well. Um, other than that, it pretty much just slips in place and snaps back in just like it would normally. Reinstall your change holder. Now that we have the vent plastic installed, now we can go ahead and install your assembled radio mount with the with the two T PAM already previously installed on it and uh, making sure while you're doing this that you're hooking up all your wires at the same time and plugging in your harness for your USB outlet. You see what we just did there? We just found out you will need to route your harness underneath the plastic here on this to get this to seat down correctly.
And at this time we'll go ahead and install our two 10 32nd bolts for the upper two mounts, excuse me, screws. You can go ahead and tighten them up. And reinstall your four 10 millimeter radio mount bolts. Now you can go ahead and reinstall your air conditioning temp controls. And snap it back in place. And there you have it. Um, the second gen powered accessory mount. Second gen Tacoma powered accessory mount. So, uh, not an overly difficult install. Like it's the first time it took us about an hour and a half, but that was the first time ever installing one. And this one, um, some of the stuff was already done, already done. So we just basically tried to show you what we did, uh, to install it. Um, the biggest thing to remember is, you know, notching this for the wiring to come through and providing access for that to go back in place. Um, clearancing the end, inside of this edge here for this gauge cluster surround and the lip on the side of this um, plastic vent um, it's got a little lip on it you just need to pro provide clearance for the edge of this um, because the bracket kind of overlaps this plastic right here so um, I mean other than that it's pretty pretty straightforward uh, the side the side brackets are kind of you know, they take a little bit of finesse to get the nuts and washers on the back side. Um, you know, smaller fingers would help. Um, a scribe helped line them up. Um, that was a very useful tool. And uh, make sure you test your USB outlet before you put everything back together because you'd hate to put it all, pull it all back apart. Um, other than that, you know, it's in and uh, looks good, works good. And uh, hope to see you guys with some new second gen mounts out there make sure you share your pictures pictures with us and um, look forward to seeing you guys on the trail with these mounts thanks again